Welcome back to CFB Prime. I'm your host, Nino Brown. We got an exclusive interview with 2026 uh, recruit Ben and Mubenga. How are we doing tonight? I'm doing good with you. Uh, I, I can't complain, you know, we're getting closer to the middle of the week. So just grinding it out. I'm excited for this one. Um, from all my research says, you got uh, we're going to get to it, but you've got uh, quite the family of football players from what I can see. So, um, before we get into it, I want to say thank you. I know you're a busy kid. you got a lot going on. We do appreciate you taking the time out and doing the interview with uh, CFB Nation. Thank you again. No problem. I'm going to hit you with a couple rapid-fire questions, get you loose, and, and then we'll start talking football. All right? Yes, sir. What's the number one track in the headphones right now? Pop Smoke Tunnel Vision. Okay. All right, Pop Smoke. That's the first one. But I, I mess with Pop Smoke. I like that. All right? What's your all-time favorite snack? All time favorite snack. I'll say sour pets. Oh, all right. We're getting along good, my man. Uh all time favorite athlete, non football. Non football, uh, Lionel Messi, soccer player. Oh, all right. You're, you're a big fella. You, you you like the soccer? You get down with the soccer yourself or what? Yeah, that was my that was my first sport. The whole family or just you? The whole family. Okay. All right. I like that. Um I ask everybody this. I'm interested to see what the answer is. What is the breakfast cereal 101? You're only allowed to have one last bowl of cereal. What are you rocking with? Cinnamon toast cans all the way. All right, yeah, that, that's the favorite. That's the consensus number one. It's either that or Fruity Pebbles, but I, I love it. All right, let's talk some football. You grew up in Georgia. All right, can you tell us what, what football life is like in Georgia? And are you a Falcons fan? If so, all-time favorite Falcon. I'm not a Falcons fan, but <laughs> – <laughs> I understand. But, yeah, fact, but but I grew up watching them, so like I get like back then they were pretty good, but towards like 2017, I stopped really watching the Falcons. <laughs> but I'm I'm mainly of a San Francisco uh, type of guy because their defense is just amazing, and you know awesome. I love I love I love their defense. And growing up in Georgia. Like, it's very competitive because, you know, everywhere there's somebody talented. Everywhere. Everywhere you look, you'll find, like, a talented player. And he'll he definitely give you some competition, and I love it. That's the reason why, you know, we came here because, you know, competition, all the, all these opportunities you can get out here because, you know, competition makes you better. So, like, the more competition you'll get, the better you'll get. And competition brings the best out of you. So, I, I'm with you 100%. Um, now, let's talk about – uh. This magical season you had, 11-1 for, for Buford High School or this last year. What's a highlight for you that sticks out? And will that loss to Walton at the end of the season stick out in your brain until season starts next year? That loss to Walton really messed me up because he was my brother last year before he we went to college. Ooh. So, like, seeing him, seeing him cry, you know, that just set a fire in me. That, that just, like, he set a fire in me that I have to win the rest of my years because I can't. I can't let that go because, you know, I seen my brother crying. It was the first time I seen him cry like that. So, like, that really, really hurt me in a, in a certain type of way. So, that that loss just fuels me because, you know, I feel like if we didn't lose that game, we would have just been, like, too comfortable. But that game just woke us up. Like, he just woke us up, like, to a point where we were lazy. Now, like, we have something to drive us, you know, to the next level and get what we got to do and get everything done. Okay. All right. Um. Now, you talked about playing with your brother. We're going to get to that in a minute. But what's it like playing for Coach uh, Coach Appling? And, and Coach Rogers has been at Buford for 15-plus seasons, you know, as a, a DN coach. How has he helped you already in just a short time? He helped me, first off, with my, you know, my stance. Because when I started, my stance wasn't really looking the best. And was, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I, was getting knocked around. I was getting knocked around with all the tackles and all that. But since he took the time to show me the, the correct stance and the get off, I'm like, I've seen my recruitment boost because, you know, I went to camps and tried out what he really taught me. Like, mm -hmm. I really just let it loose. And then he's just been successful ever since. All right. I, I mean, it, people don't, don't, don't be in a game for, you know, 15 plus seasons and not know what they're doing. So uh, kudos, to, you know, Coach Rogers for sticking out there and, and grooming gentlemen like you and past guys that, that have gone on and had success. Now let's talk about talent in the family. Your brother Paul was an offensive lineman for you. He said, you know, he, he didn't go out the way he wanted, but he did commit to LSU, right? And then uh, your other brother, I'm, I'm going to try my best, Jaffet, 
right? He completed his freshman season with uh, the Murray State Racers on the D-line. So what was it like battling each other growing up? And where did the love for football and love for the game come from? The love of football came from uh, my brother, Paul, because he was the first one to try it out. Okay. Me and me and my brother, we both hated football. Like, we, were, we were just <laughs> we were just straight soccer. We were just talking about straight soccer. But then he tried it out, and then we seen like, cause he he made the game look fun to us. So like then we just slowly started to ease into football. Then my older brother Jafet went into football. So he was both of them in football. So they both tried to drag me into football, and I still didn't want to. And then <laughs> they just figured out a way to you know to make me try. I went there, tried, and they said I had a lot of potential. And, and I just focus and focus and try to continue because you know the entire family went there, so you know might as well you know try and see what's the fun about. Now, 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 you know you got one on the offense and one on the defense. What what drew you in the most about playing on on the defense one? The thing is, uh, I play on both sides now because I, uh... I can't really choose. I can't really choose because I like both both positions. So you know. Because I got both my brothers that helped me, you know, learn both positions. So I couldn't right. choose really. I couldn't really choose which side I like better. So I play wherever they want me to play because, you know, I have potential on both sides. And, and you know, younger, you just completed your freshman season, right? So you got three years to grow to see where you're going to be. Uh, we want to play offense or defense, but that's always a bonus when schools are looking out. A guy who can be versatile to play both sides of the ball. So kudos to you, young man. Um, like I said, you're young. Just completed freshman year, but you already received offers: LSU, Michigan, Missouri, Texas A&M, and you know, all this. Uh, how is the recruitment process going so far, and how have you been able to bounce things off? You know, both your brothers who are already in, in the collegiate level. So uh, I'm gonna just tell you this: how it started was um, one of these days, like my brother asked me to go on like one of these uh, official visits and stuff to yeah. LSU, right? So we went there. Then I got to talk to the coaches because me and him were, were the same height. So the coaches seen that, and then oh. they asked me. They asked me how old I was, and I told them I was fourteen at the time, and I was six four. <laughs> so I, I, I was six four. It's a wrap. <laughs> that was a wrap. That was a wrap. So like after the visit, like a, a few weeks went by, and then LSU offered. When LSU offered, then Texas and them followed. Ooh. Then the rest followed. So that's that's the thing. All right, all right, and then like you said, it's just been an early process, but um. We did see that you were recently at, at, at the Auburn camp, right? You were there. Yes, sir. How was that? That was, what, two weekends ago? And, uh, yes, sir. How'd that go? And who was someone that you lined up against that might have caught your eye and going forward to battle, battle back, you know, battle it as you go forward in your career? You might see again. So at the camp, I met, like, a 6'8 tackle. He was, Ooh. like, he was he was giant. So, like, they put, they put us against each other on the one-on-one. Then I beat him. So after I beat him, the, one of the Auburn coaches came pulled me to the side and he talked to me. He was like, wait at the end of the camp and I got to talk to you. So I'm like, okay. I, I'm like, okay, that's a good sign. And then at the end of the camp, they offered me. So that just went, because you went well. You went well for me. Congratulations, my man. Good for you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. You're earning it. You're out there, you know, out there grinding it out, doing your thing. And I'm loving I'm just loving What I've seen, there's only a little bit I can see and read, but what I'm seeing, man, it's potentials there. Like I said, you got pedigree. You, 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 both your brothers are playing now on the collegiate level, so and the sky's the limit for you. Thank I want to know, if camp's co- you know, concluded, do you have any other camps lined up, and how are you approaching this offseason? I, I don't think I'll be able to do any more camps because uh, we were focusing on paddy camps. You know, we have a few paddy camps this week, okay. so I decided to cancel like some of my camps. So far, I don't think I'll, I'll do any other camps, but I'll focus mainly on my team because, you know, it's really time to lock in and focus up, for, you know, for this upcoming season. Okay. Now, you said, you you know, this year you you and the coach uh, worked on your stance and, and getting off, exploding off the line. What's one thing that you're trying to work on in the offseason going into next year that you were trying to, you know, tweak your craft a little more about? I'll say, I'll say my pass rush moves. I don't really have, you know, a lot of pass rush moves. I just keep it simple. Okay. But, you know, the simplest, you know, the simplest stuff always work. But my coach told me to add just a little bit more in my arsenal you know, in case I meet someone, you know, that's very talented and is able to block me every time. You get, you get a little swag at it, you know. You know, the old school, throw a little new school swag to it and, and keep it moving. I, I got you. You know, you never know. You got to keep them guessing, right? Can't keep giving them the same thing all the time. Yes, sir. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had a teammate, Justin Baker, on. Um, and it was a pleasure to speak with. What was it like battling Baker and, and Justice Haynes in practice last week? Man, it was <laughs> terrible. It, it was, oh my God. 
it was man. It's like I, every every time I practice, both of them always were always going hard, and they were always pushing you, you know, to your limit. But you know, that's that was the fun of it. You know, someone that's always pushing you towards your limit. But it was because he was my first year playing against people like that talented. So it was like it was a change for me. It was a change. He helped me a lot, and I'm always grateful for both of them because they're both good friends of mine, and I. I appreciate them for that because if they would have went easy on me, right. I wouldn't really, you know, I wouldn't really, I blossom into the man that I am right now. I, I love seeing the growth, man. And like, you know, um, iron shop and Zion, right? So you guys banging each other in, in, in practices, banging in the trenches, you know, you're just getting better, you know, both both ways. He's getting better with trying to beat a defensive guy. You're getting better with trying to, you know, get, get in the backfield and, and stop these guys. So uh, I, I love it. Now, I got a question. Uh, I ask a uh, lot. A lot of people this what's one thing most people don't know about ben i'm gonna mess it up and mbanga okay um uh, is that i i, I speak french Ooh, okay all right um now on a saturday you sit home you're not in college yet college football is on or there's a premier league soccer game on now college football is not your brother so I'll, 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 you know, we'll take that out. They ain't playing on the TV at this time. It's, it's, you right. know, maybe a SEC game or the Premier Soccer League game. Which one you watching? Ooh, that's a hard question. <laughs> that's a hard question. See, uh, if my brother isn't playing, then I'll say I'll watch soccer. Ooh, I had a feeling. I, I could see the passion for the game. You said, you said that was your first love. I know it's hard to give up your first love. Uh, ben, I appreciate you taking time out of your day to do this interview with us. I learned so much about you uh, just in, in the research and in doing the interview. I would love to keep in touch, uh, maybe six months, three years, circle back, see how the progression is going, bring you back on, and, and, and talk about it. Yes, sir. Thank uh, you. I appreciate you. You have a good night, thank man. You. And like I said, thank you very much. Thank you, too.